This video is going to show you how to submit a trip request for a recurring trip. A recurring trip is an identical trip in every way except for the date. So a recurring trip must be the same time, the same school, the same group, the same destination, funding source, vehicle needs, everything is identical about the trip except for the date. So when you want to submit a request for a recurring trip, you'll come into your main tab and submit a request option. Begin filling out the request form as usual. When you come to the trip leave and the trip return section to fill in the date and the time, you will select the date and the time of the first trip in the series of recurring trips. So this trip, the first trip, is going out on November the 5th and it's coming back November the 5th. It's a one-day trip. All recurring trips can only be one-day trips. And then the time of the trip, we're leaving at 10 and we, we will be back at 12.30. Now, I need to uh, set up all of the other dates that this trip is going. I have two options to look at. I have a button for recurring trips using the calendar and recurring trips using a date range. Now these buttons are different and they allow you to set up dates in a different way. Recurring trips using the calendar allows you to choose various dates that this particular trip is going throughout the calendar. So you can set up this trip to go Monday and Tuesday of one week, Thursday of the next week, and two weeks later on a Wednesday. So you can pick the particular dates that the trip is going. Now the other option, recurring trips using a date range, that is going to allow you to set up this trip to go the same days of the week over a course of time. And so you would set up that this trip is going to go every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from November the 5th through May the 31st, for example. So depending on your needs and how this recurring trip is, is going to be um, traveling and when it's going to travel, we'll, you will use the different buttons. So let's go ahead and set up this, um, this trip uh, using the calendar because this is not going to be a trip that's going to go out every week on the same days. We're going to pick various days. So now that I have um, set up my first trip on the 5th, I'm going to pick the rest of the days that this trip is going. I'm going to click on the recurring trips using the calendar button and it's going to bring up my calendars now and allow me to select uh, when this particular trip is going out. So the first trip is going out on Tuesday the 5th. Now the next trip may be Thursday that week, but the next uh, week we're going on a Wednesday. And then the next week we're not going at all, but we will be going on Monday and Tuesday of the next week. And then you can continue selecting the dates that this particular trip is going. It's various and we just select those dates and you can move through the calendars picking the dates that this trip is going. Once you have selected all of your dates, click on the accept button and that will add those dates here uh, onto my request form. Uh, notice that there is a little uh, note that pops up saying that recurring trips are not created until the trip is approved. So the approver only has to approve the request one time for all of these dates that you have selected. Once the trip is completely approved, then the, um, each of these dates will be assigned a new trip number, an individual unique trip number for each of these dates that will then be assigned out to vehicles and drivers. So once you have uh, a set, selected all of your dates, you can view them here in the request. Then you will just continue filling out the request as usual, putting in all of the information that's required in your trip request form. Scroll all the way, filling in everything that you have to fill in, and then be sure you click on the Save and Close button. Oh, we've got our trip number. Now this is for um, 
this one recurring trip. Now if I wanted to see that particular trip in my view, my summary view, this is the one we just did. So notice here in my summary view I can see that a batch number has been assigned to this particular trip and it is uh, designated as a recurring trip. Notice that my batch number is the same as my original trip number. So that helps me keep up with what are the other trips that are um, like this one. And I can see that it, that it originated with trip 43 3372 and that's my batch 4372. I can also see that this is uh, pending uh, approval so it hasn't been um, uh, all of the different trips have not been created yet remember they aren't created until you um, uh, have full approval. Now let's take a look at the other option for creating a recurring trip. This time we're going to use our button recurring trips using a date range. Now this is going to allow us to uh, ask for this particular trip to go for uh, a, a period of time and we would uh, and we are going to go on the same days of the week every week. So uh, when I click on my button I need to pick the ending date. So my beginning date is October the 28th in this particular uh, trip and remember this trip is set up just for one day on uh, October the 28th and we're going to take this trip uh, every week uh, through December the 20th. So that's my date range from October through December the 20th and uh, the first trip you can see is going out on Monday and we're going to take this trip every Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday from October the 28th through December 20th. So once I have selected the ending uh, date of this recurring trip and the days of the week that this trip is going, I'm going to click Accept and now it's going to add all of those dates in here that this trip is going every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday in that date range. And again, the recurring trips are not created until the uh, trip is approved. And so just as before, you will continue on in your trip request form, filling out all of the information until you save and close. So now I have created another request for a recurring trip and I can see both of those again here. Here are my two recurring trips. Remember the batch number is the same as the original trip request here. So you can see that and you can follow this particular request through the approval process. As soon as it's fully approved, this, uh, will cre this um, recurring trip request will break out into multiple trip requests with their own individual trip numbers, but you will see this batch ID, this batch number associated with all of those trips. So you'll be able to keep up with um, that, that that particular trip was created in a batch. So I hope this is helpful, learning how to create your uh, recurring trip request. Thank you.